Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to run Sonic Generations, the PC game, without any stutter. Uh, what I'm going to do before that is show you how the game runs stock and also how it runs after the patch is installed. So this video here is the stock without the patch. <laughs> Alright, and then this part here, this video you're going to see, this is what it's going to run after patches uh, have been applied. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and show you the files that are needed to get that to run. So go ahead and open up your browsers. It's going to take you to these two links here. I did put the links in the description. So the first link is from uh, this website right here. So you're going to click on the download button right there. And then you're going to go to the second link to the hedge mod manager. And we're going to download the latest version, which is this latest one. So you're going to just scroll down here and delete this one or uh, download that is. Once you have those both downloaded, go ahead and open your downloads folder and preferably go ahead and open up the folder that has the game files. Also, first thing you're going to do is just take the Hodge, uh, the Hedge Mod Manager, and you're going to copy that into the folder that has the game. And then once that's done, you can actually leave the other file there because you can point the uh, program to that file. So you're going to go ahead and launch that. Once you get that launched, you are going to come across this screen here and you're just going to add the mod. So you're going to travel to this location here or whatever location you, you know, you put on your computer. So let's go ahead and add that. And you're going to pick install from a folder. And you navigate, you're going to navigate to where that's at. All right, so once we're in that folder, you're going to go ahead and point it to that folder. Just go ahead and click select folder. And what it's going to do, it is going to add the uh, mod to the folder here. So go ahead and click on that. And we're going to go ahead and hit save. And you do have additional options you can put on here. You have the, if you click on a little gear here, you can do borderless, borderless full screen. And you can also do windowed. And there's a couple of more options here that you can, you know, choose to uh, to launch. So once that's done, you can go ahead and click OK, and then you should be good. Now, the example videos that I showed you, the first one was, uh, you know, what the mod looks like without, and then afterwards it was what the mod or what the game looks like with the mod installed. The second video was at 720. The first video was at 1080. The purpose of me doing that was because my uh, capture software, for some reason, would start to stutter. And it was set at 1080 and that's just you know an issue with the computer it's got nothing to do with the mod so as long as you have a pretty decent computer you should be able to run it uh because i can run it at 1920 by 1080 i just can't capture it once i capture it you know it does it does make it appear like it's stuttering just because of the uh, the recording so basically once you have that done you should be good to go so this is at the uh, end of the video. Now, if you want us to go around, I'm going to go ahead and launch it again just to make sure that everything's okay. But you should be good from here on because it should launch without an issue. You would just go ahead and launch the configuration tool. And if you do get an error when you launch the configuration tool, you would need to download uh, .NET 4 and uh, I think it's 4 point something or other and above. So just go ahead and download the, you know, the latest version of that if this config screen does not load up for you.
Once it does, you can just go ahead and capture, you know, set the settings here to whatever you want. And click save and quick, and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and launch it. Now, again, this is at 720. So we'll go ahead and give this a shot, make sure everything's working. I do have reshade running. See, so as you can see, you can see the difference straight away. Because right there with the original install, the way you know the way it comes, the game comes stock, then it was st it would have started stuttering right here. So as you can see, it's nice and smooth. So that does, should help you guys run this without that stutter. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you want on this video. Uh, leave any comments or questions in the comment section, and we will see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.